In this video, we're going to have a look at how we can use a controller with the Raspberry Pi to run a program or controller program that uses Pi Game Zero. I'm going to show you first the game that we're going to run. So this is um, a space shooter 2D um, spacecraft game that I've uh, been creating. Which is created in Pi Game Zero. So, launching using Pi Game Zero. Now, one of the, the I mean, Pi Game Zero is great for creating easy games that are, are very easy to program. Uh, the one thing that currently lets it down is lack of gamepad support. So, this is a game at the moment can only be controlled using um, curse keys. Or perhaps um, using the um, PyCade, which the control on there um, emulates a keyboard. What we're going to look at is a way we can do the same thing, but using a wireless keypad, such as the PyHut wireless USB keyboard, key, uh, joystick controller, um, which is what I'm going to try here. So the way this works is going to emulate keystrokes and send those keystrokes to the game and then the game will respond to the joystick. First thing we need to do is to install Q Joypad. So sudo apt install Q Joypad. Okay, download files and install them. Um, so it's installed. Um, you won't see anything. There's a, it installed into the games menu um, called QJob. If you run that, then it's just going to pop up a uh, little icon on the taskbar. Before we do that, I'll actually plug in the controller so we can see the controller come up. So this comes with a, a USB dongle. I'm just going to pop this into the USB port on the Raspberry Pi. And we're going to look, look at the, the kernel buffer log, which is the message. And we can see here that it's been detected, USB 1-1.3. Uh, uh, USB device, it says it's a, an Xbox controller, it's not actually an Xbox controller. In fact, if you look at it, it looks more like a PS4 controller, but it, it obviously emulates a Xbox controller in terms of the hardware um, drivers that Linux uses. So we've finished with that. We can now launch the Q Joypad and you can see this, this small controller icon here up here. Uh, by default, there's no layout, so it doesn't know anything about um, how we're gonna do it, this. And we can just have a look around. These are the different um, axis buttons. And what is here will depend upon the controller and the amount of buttons and axes that the um, joystick and or controller supports. Look at axis one. So the easiest way, um, you can, well, if you've got a list, um, I've, I'll put a list on my website of a few different controllers and some of their keys. But if not, then you can pop this up and have a play with the key. And right. So this one is the let's try that again. So this is the left hand analog joystick that I'm moving from left to right. You can see when I move it to left, left right foot. And when I move it to right and right foot. Um I won't do anything with that one at the moment. Axis two. 
is the left analog joystick again. This time it's the up and down direction. And we've got various other different axes and buttons depending upon uh, what you want. So the, I, I'm not really interested in the analog controls because this is only going to send keystrokes anyway, so uh, and analog controls aren't so useful. So axis 7, I have to know, is the um, direction arrow keys which are on the uh, left hand side of the controller uh, going from left to right and axis 8 is up and down. So we can map these by click on axis 7. So when the left key is, is clicked I want it to emulate the left click of the keyboard. So I click that and then click press the left key. And for the right hand side, press the right. Okay, now X is eight, which is the same. Remember this is up and down this time, so press up and that one press the down key. Now if you prefer to uh, had a game that used the WASD keys, you could use those instead. Um, but this one has been designed to use with those. Um, so, as I say, I'm leaving the, the rest of the analog axes. If you wanted to map those, you can do. Uh, then the next one is the buttons. Now, there isn't actually an easy way of detecting these, as far as I know, of which one is which. Uh, one thing I did to, to do this is to actually just assign these a number. If I went through once we've set all those keys, um, we can go about testing them. So I wrote some um, High Game Zero code. It's just a simple program which tells you what keys are being pressed. It's called Test Keys and I'll make this uh, code available on my website so that you can uh, try this out yourself. So all I should need to do now with this running is to press all the keys that are, are listed down here and be able to determine what they are. So if I start with the left, um, it gives you left, right, up, down, as we expected. Now button one um, is the um, Keys on the right hand side of the controller, which are the uh, the action buttons. In this case, I'll press the blue X, is key number one. The red circle, number two. Green triangle is four. So the pink square is three. Then there's the select button, seven. Start button is eight. There's a line analog button as well, which is nine. The left and right keys. Ah. Should be doing five and six, but they're not. Oh, and this they have stopped working for some reason. I'm launching that again. I'm not sure. But, so they're five and six. Let me try um, saving my, my cube joypad to play out first. Um, so once you've established which keys are which, uh, you can remap these to whatever you want to do. So um, in my case, um, these are similar to the, the keys that I've used on the Picade. So button one, that's Z. Button two, the left alt button. Button three, 
F control button or F shift. Space, seven, code return, eight is O, nine is the escape key, ten is H, and Button 11 is L. So once you've um, configured these to whatever you want and, and you've kind of used the um, other axes, then um, you click Add to create a new layout. Uh, in this course, we call it um, Wireless uh, Controller. And you should just be able to then close that. And we can try this. Reason. Stop working. I'll just try restarting. Okay, so I'm not sure why um, it stopped working there, um, but see a, a, a restart. I actually else disconnected the control and replugged it in just in case. Um, but that seems to have fixed it. So instead of coming up with the, the numbers we had before, these are now coming up with the, the relevant key, keys that we, we've matched. So now it should be simply a case of launching the game and being able to play it using the controller in place of the um, keystrokes. Um, seems to be having a few slight problems with it. Okay, so now I'm able to control it. So this is using the uh, controller now instead of the keyboard. And that's it. So there does seem to be a slight problem. Um, so I've used this. On, on this Raspberry Pi, in fact, and another one, and I've not had any problems before. Um, possibly it's um, conflict with the screen recorder I'm using at the moment. Um, so I, I will try that out a bit longer and, uh, and see if that explains it. But that's how you configure um, the, the, the Q joypad to emulate key presses instead of uh, using a USB joystick or controller. OK, so um, I'm back again. I switched off the um, the screen capture software for a while. I've just had a, a, a play with the controller, and no problems at all, and it was working absolutely fine. So I think that perhaps there is a conflict between um, simple screen recorder, which is what I'm using, and um, Q joypad, um, but uh, for most of you, you will not be trying to uh, capture video at the same time, so um, that shouldn't be a problem.
So I'll just try one more time. And yeah, it's, it does appear to be working again, fine. So I've, uh, I've, I've been using this quite a bit um, recently and I've not had any problems with it at all until uh, trying to record this video. Um, um, so hopefully you shouldn't have any problems. Um, I'll also put on my website details of how you can uh, use this, to have it launch automatically when you start the game and how to start it um, and a bit more about different key um, controllers. Um, certainly I've got um, a cabled um, Pi Hut uh, joypad which has got less controls on um, and I'll, uh, I'll put the details of that on there as well. Um, so I hope you found this interesting. Um, like and share this video and please check out my website and uh, see the full details of uh, how to configure it.